Um, Senator Ludlam. Der Acting Deputy President. Well, what an extraordinary display this morning. I want to thank Senator Back, actually. It's good to follow up after um, a set of comments like that, where he's reminded us of the seething hypocrisy of the Labor Party, coming in here and lecturing the coalition. No, it fares fair. Absolutely fares fair. Coming in, no, it's not. Coming in here and lecturing the coalition about having, or the Liberal Party about having done a deal with One Nation, when actually they were playing footsie with One Nation until somebody, whether on the west coast or the east coast, told them to cease and desist. But the fact is, who is in the frame today? The Liberal Party of Western Australia, the desperate Premier Colin Barnett, who has thrown his Nationals colleagues under the bus. Not for the first time, as Senator Back has said, but probably the most consequential time, because this could deliver balance of power in the Western Australian Upper House, the Legislative Council, to One Nation. And what did we hear from Senator Sinodinus when he was asked about this yesterday? He says, look, One Nation has evolved since Prime Minister Howard took a principled stand and said that they should be preference last. And Senator Sinodinus said, today it is a very different beast. Well, no, Senator Sinodinus, you are. It is, not the Liberal, it is not the One Nation Party that has evolved. The Liberal Party has devolved. Their such standing and uh, morals as they had have evaporated. S uh, Mr Barnett has for eight years led a completely pointless government. The only achievement that they've got to point to after eight years is coming out of the greatest commodity boom in the state's history—$40 billion in debt. They have nothing to show for it. It's an empty government with no plan for the next four years for Western Australia. And so they have cut this slimy deal with One Nation, with a splinter party that has generated support across Australia by promoting race hate, by promoting white supremacy, the kind of white nationalism that has now reached such dangerous threshold levels in the United States and elsewhere. And Premier Barnett is playing with fire in doing this deal. If it was a government worth saving, you would, maybe you would sort of understand the fact that they would cut some slimy preference deals, but this is a government not worth saving. Polling was conducted, and we released this over the weekend, by uh, Essential, asking if the party you were going to vote for in the upper house was swapping preferences with Pauline Hanson's One Nation, would that make you more or less likely to vote for them? 30 per cent of Liberal voters said that would be less likely. Order. You will regret Senator, this deal.